Got this awesome lens flare right here. Ooh. <laughs> hey B, it's Friday. Not much has been happening over here this week. So I thought I'd share some of the exercises that I have been doing to help with the vertigo that I've had from this concussion. First one is called cervical isometrics. Basically, it's a strength building exercise for the long muscles in your neck. So what you do is you either lie down or sit up. In the video, I am sitting up. What you do is you reach up with your hand and apply a slight pressure to your head um, while you use your muscles to hold your head in place. So apply that pressure for five to 10 seconds, then release. Each time you do it to your left, right, front, and back um, is considered a round. And the goal is to try to do two to three rounds a day. Now on to horizontal and vertical head turns. Ooh. So you draw a letter A on a post-it note or a tongue compressor popsicle stick deal and you place it about arm's length away, either on the wall or in your hand. I have it in my hand. And you're gonna gently move your head side to side, keeping the letter in focus. The reps are about 15 to 30 seconds long, um, and you repeat it three times during the day. This is one of those exercises that ramps up, where if you can keep the letter in focus for 30 seconds and do not have an increase in symptoms, you can start increasing the speed of the head movement, um, the amplitude of the head motion, um, or you can perform the exercise standing, all of which make it harder. So next we have a occupational therapy activity, um, which is just basic convergence. You're gonna go cross-eyed with this one. So with a tongue compressor or a letter on a card like I have here, letter A, um, you're gonna focus on the letter and you're gonna move it closer and closer to your face until it starts getting blurry or you see double. Then you're going to close your eyes for two to three seconds and then you're gonna open them and you're gonna take the it right back out until it is clear again. Again, you do this three times in a row and then you do about two or so sets a day. The next one's really weird and hard to set up. It's called the Brock string, Brock string. It's this fun little deal. So you place one of the string of your nose and the other one, I tie it to a doorknob since I don't have anybody to help me with this. Um, and the goal is to see one bead in focus and two strings entering it and two strings exiting it. So we should be seeing this X pattern. So once you can see the blue bead, you start looking at the yellow bead and then the green bead and then the purple one and the red one and you try to make X's with all of them. To make this one harder, you start adding a little bit of a head turn. It's always fun. So the next one I have is called I Can Learn. It's this weird website that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's gotten a little bit easier over time. So I'm gonna put up a little thing of me doing it. Um, basically it has ac tracking activities for pursuits, saccades, and the like. The one that I have on this site that I work with sometimes is the bug walk processing. The reason I'm doing all these activities and focusing on the vertigo is that um, my eyes don't actually track together. So I'm gonna put up a little video right here, a close up I did of my eyes, where you can see that um, the eyes aren't actually tracking together all the time. Um, and they start jiggling a little bit. And that's completely normal, but it does contribute to vertigo. And that's why I've been doing all these activities to try to um, get my eyes trained to work together. So I have a few other activities that I do, like throwing a ball up and down in the air, um, walking and biking. That's the gist of what I have. Hopefully this video is gonna make sense. And I've been really curious about what activities you've been assigned to do by PT, OT, and speech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on Monday, B. Bye.